Hey, Angel Hearts, Lisa here with uh, what I hope is kind of a fun tag and, and a quick video. Um, this tag is uh, Top Tarot Projects 19, and the idea is, you know, naming and claiming what the big projects are. Maybe they're not so big, maybe they're just little projects you want to uh, lay claim to for the coming year. You know, maybe you want to get down and dirty with uh, Alistair Crowley and Frida Harris's artwork and deck and really go deep into the tote. Maybe you want to start learning uh, more about numerology. Maybe you want to get into Tarot de Marseille. Maybe you want to like take a dive into uh, historical decks. What is it? What is the thing that you want to do? Or maybe it's several things. Maybe it's a deck you want to explore. Um, maybe you want to go deep into shadow work. Anyway. Just saying a few words about what your top tarot projects are uh, for the coming year. And I've got mine. Um, so first project is Deviant Moon. Of all the decks that are in my possession right now that I haven't played with, Deviant Moon is probably um, the most compelling, right? Here's a deck that I've coveted for a long time. I held off buying, even though it's really easy to come by, and then I asked for it for my birthday, and I got the deck and then Patrick Valenza's um, hardcover book, and I edged the deck in this really pretty brown. This is the, um, um, the borderless version, um, and I've, you know, I've looked at so many videos of this deck before I bought it and looked at it online, and then I've spent so much time playing with uh, the images, just, just looking at the deck now that I own it, but I have done zero readings with it. Um, just haven't explored it, haven't, haven't thought about it, haven't worked with it. And in general, there's uh, the other deck like this in my uh, uh, collection is the um, Chicoli um, Tarot. You know, why have I not gone into that? So it's these decks with kind of this... Um, you know, more shadowy artwork. And I think Valenza's, I mean, it's funny and it's sweet and it's dreamy and delicious and I haven't played with it. So why? How come? I want to dive into it. But that's, you know, that's, it's a good project, but it's not, I, I need some more intense projects than that. So the other deck that I own that I want to dive deep into is the Sacred India Tarot um, uh, by uh, Rohit um, Aruna, I want to say. Am I saying, I'm Rohit, what's Rohit's last name? Arya? Rohit Arya. Um, and this deck I know is going to involve a lot of study. Um, the book that came with it, this is an out of print deck, the book that came with it is incredibly deep and detailed. This deck, the artwork isn't so compelling to me, and I'm not even going to go into it now because there are several videos that I want to make about this deck and spiritual decks in general, decks that are really sort of self-consciously trying to help us on a spiritual path. Um, it's a deck that was really thought through um, and really tried, you know, Rohit is a, a Vedanta practitioner and he's really trying to think through the ways in which the yogic traditions in India um, uh, mesh with and are transformed by and transform the world of tarot. So his book is incredibly inspiring. It's, it's the best written companion book I've ever seen uh, in the sense of the depth of spiritual uh, journeying that he's undertaking. Um, it's incredibly informative, incredibly smart. Um, and is a project. So, Sacred India Tarot, Deviant Moon Tarot, two tarot decks that I want to dive deep into in 2019. My third tarot project for 2019, Minkiate. Minkiate. So, I've already talked in my favorites video about the Spolia or Spolia or Spolia. <laughs> tarot of uh, Jen May and Jess Crispin. Um, it, that is basically a Minkiate deck. It got me thinking about Minkiate 
you know, this 97 card tradition. I'm also kind of interested in the Montaigne Tarot, so-called Montaigne Tarot. So these historical variant decks, they're not true tarot decks. They were, they, Minkate was used for a game. Ma the Montaigne Tarot probably was never used as a game. But these decks that have these allegorical runs of characters or cards and are related to tarot, historically of the same vintage as the tarot, but doing something different. I want to dive deep into the world of Minkiate. Um, so in the comments below, if you're interested in learning about Minkiate and you would maybe appreciate a kind of series on the Minkiate in 2019, that might be something that I could commit to and that would kind of propel me to study it more deeply. So let me know if that, if that appeals to you below. Minkiate. So those are my three. Sacred India Tarot, Deviant Moon Tarot. Those are just decks I want to kind of explore, explore the world, explore the vision of the artist. Um, and then Minkiate. Okay, what do you want to do? What's on your project, your to-do list for 2019? Okay, bye y'all.